Should you offer discounts, promotions in the salon and your nail business? Good question. We're gonna tackle it right now on the Biz Talk. Was painful. That was a little weird. Like, that intro. Not sure how you messed that up, but I don't think I messed it how, up. I said why, it was a, when? I said it was a little weird. I didn't say I messed it up. <laughs> You're a little weird. <laughs> that was a little weird. <laughs> a little weird. That the way you don't say weird like that. That's weird. Weird. Dang, weird. That's my red and coming out. Strong J. That's French. For strange. No, it's not. Just kidding. Okay, moving on. You're a little strange. Okay, let's let's keep the cool. ball rolling. It's getting Going awkward. Going back on vacation. It's getting awkward in here. Yeah, that's right. Tracy just got back from vacation. How happy are you to be back, Trace? Be, honestly, how happy are you to be back? Negative 10. <laughs> it's not even a zero. Like, you went deep in the negative. Negative 10. Everybody, I believe everybody was saving stuff up for me. Just like, <laughs> she's back. Yeah, Puke. boom. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't, right? No, I didn't. I didn't no, have anything. You didn't, you didn't have anything. I know, but that's because you handle everything, and I don't do it. So it actually worked out well. You got nothing from me. <laughs> All right. Hey, <laughs> thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> let's get to the topic: promotions, discounts in the salon. Um, I know we've addressed this when it comes to like setting up your pricing. Um, and I know generally how you feel, but let's let's not get to the generally how you feel. What is your take on offering promotions, discounts for a nail tech overall, Tracy? What's your take on this? <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually having flashbacks. Why? Because I think it was about a year or so ago, you, we did the one where you're like, you should give 20% off for ho the holidays. And I'm like... Oh, you're like, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you because yeah. not for a full clientele, no. Not for a full clientele, correct. Yeah, so okay. same. Same applies to me. You know, like offering, maybe it's a holiday look and you get a discount on your art or you know how I feel about discounting your fills. I don't like yeah. it because I feel like that's the number. That's how we maintain. That's how we make our money. And I feel like that's how people remember. They only remember that number. But if you're first starting, I have no problem with discounts or promotions i don't well okay okay Let, let's why don't we break it down into this first i shouldn't say first starting i mean building if building, you're building right so i guess the question is when should someone offer a promotion or a discount what is the appropriate time or situation for a offering a promotion or a discount um obviously you mentioned one right now right building a clientele so what does that look like exactly like what would a good if someone and I, I i see this dm come through all the time someone is like oh my god i'm trying everything to bring in clients and so i'm offering buy one get one free bring in your client get this like all these promos but what does that actually look like let's talk about that situation first right someone is trying to build a clientele what's a good promo or discount Discount, not good. What promotion is better? Discount, I don't know. It just sounds... Well, I don't like it because... Sale, sale, sale. Yeah. You know, the little guy with his arms flapping all around. <laughs> Family guy? Yes. Yeah. They've, <laughs> um, like, like, what... We don't recommend somebody, like, discount their pricing. Like, okay, we're going to offer 30% off. But a promotion, promotion, limited time promotion. So you yeah. keep your pricing where it is. But you're going to offer in the month of X a promotion or... If you're building your clientele, what would that look like? I really like the bring the buddy thing, you know, two for one. I like that. I don't like the sound of two for one. I like the bring your buddy. Hey, because you have the option of getting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just buddies. Bring weird. your buddy. Bring your buddy. Okay. So you have the potential of gaining two clients. Usually you might not get, gain the two clients, but you might at least get the one. So what, is that, what does that promo look like? Bring, bring, 
a buddy friend and, day or whatever you want to name it. it you see i see but what's the promo spas and stuff like that do that all the time the people i get botox from do it all the time love that okay. um, <laughs> <laughs> um it is you know it, it's a it's a group thing like hey you, you and your friend you come in and you have it's a it's a kind of a discount they discount oh, i my thing was a full set so it's uh two full sets for the price of one. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So not, now, you don't get the two full sets. It's you and your friend. Come in together. And We're going to schedule you. We're going to have a girl's day. And, you, you know, you guys will get... For the price of one. For the price of one. So, essentially, you're, you are... And you've probably told me this before, and I just don't remember, but you're, it's like you're giving a 50% off, right? Pretty but much. But you're two not services. saying 50% off. Yeah. No, I like that. I like promotion. Plus, that is fun. Like... You can talk to your existing clientele and you can say, hey, look, bring in, bring in a friend. Bring in a friend. You're going to pay the same price. Yeah. And, you know, and then you can even tell them like, you know, I'm, I'm looking to grow, get more exposure yep. and grow my clientele with love. If you brought a friend in, I'll run this. That's a great deal. Yeah. It's a fun time. They, This new person, like you said, gets exposed or even outside of your existing clientele. You could push it. I mean, if you're doing Instagram, Facebook, if you're on IG, you can even run that. Hey, hit me up in the month of November. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm girls doing day a day out. Girls day out. Yeah. Exactly. And for me, I mean, not everybody does this, but I served wine. So, you know, they get a nice glass of wine while they're both sitting there talking. And, and I love that they're talking to each other because I get just to work. You can just work. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Again, because I have the potential of gaining two clients, probably will at least gain the one. Um, I like uh, specials as far as going, hey, this month or this week, I'm running this promotion, a uh, active length nude set with one glitter accent nail for X amount of money. Okay. A specific Look. look. This is the look. Okay. You can put it on your IG. You post the pic. This is what I... Make it something you want to practice. Yeah. You know? That's, and a, then, that's a good idea. Or something simple. Either way. You go something you want to practice or something you know you can just push out. Pump out really quick. Really quick. And that is your look of the month or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that's a great way to... Again, you're not like... Dis, you are discounting, but you're not saying discount in terms of um, like potentially hurting your brand or more importantly, your your pricing that you've set, right? right. Because you want to protect that, whatever that pricing is. And you got to make it really clear that that is not your pricing. This is not typical. This is the, uh, mo uh, the month of November special. Totally. And you might go, I have three specials in the month of November. Yeah. And this is what they are. And there you go. Or I also like... Again, look of the month, but maybe it's a high art look, and you're just you're giving them like two glitters for free. Yeah, that's good. And of you know a glitter set that's going to cost <laughs> quite a bit. Yeah, but they're getting two for free. And and that's a great way of exposing someone to nail art that they normally it's a really good way. Yeah, they they normally wouldn't get nail art, and also making sure you communicate <clears throat> uh, this is not the normal pricing. You know, so it does go back to normal. Yeah. It's huge. But once somebody starts wearing nail art and glitter and once they start getting compliments like, oh, my God, your nails. Right. Like they're when sucked in. They're, they are <laughs> in because that's the thing with nails. Right. Is when you have some nail art, somebody from across the room will walk right up to you and be like, I love your nails. I'm telling you, that's what they get addicted to. They love them. Right. They love them. But being stopped. And told, huge. oh my God, I love your nails. Huge. You get addicted to that. Dude. I love it. It's huge. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like um, something like on the smallest surface area of your body from across the room, they're noticing and they're walking right up yeah, to you. You'll see people are like, yeah. <laughs> Why are they following my hand? Exactly. Like so um, great way to expose somebody. Now, did you do like... Wait, before I get to that, because I have like six things in my head right now. Of course. When you built up to a full clientele, mm -hmm. did you offer no. those types? Okay. So this is what, I, did you ever offer no. anything? Not not no. a single special? No. <laughs> so what you're saying is? No. No. <laughs> but I didn't. Okay. And, and 
I don't feel bad about that. This is my pricing. This is, you know, why am I going to cut my income when I have a full, when I want to count on a certain amount of money? Why would I go just out of the goodness of my heart this month, I'm going to cut my income this month? No, I'm not going to do this. This is my pricing. And um, they're used to it. And, and no one ever even really thinks about it until you start, unless you bring it up. Right. You know, you know, it's, it's a very interesting position and it's unique in that there's not a lot of businesses and this is kind of the beauty of the nail business mm -hmm. is that there are not a lot of businesses that you have that much leverage right yep to where you can actually not offer those deals if you have a fully booked clientele what that tells me is you're you're taking care of your customers. Mm -hmm. They're coming back because they love your service. Not for discounts. Not for discounts. They're coming back for your service, for your quality of work, yep. and that you take care of them, right? And I'm assuming also that you, if if you had a client that left, you would have no trouble getting somebody right into your books. No, I had a right? waiting list. You had a waiting list. Yeah, so. So there's not a lot of businesses that you can run, like, even young nails, we can't do that. Right. We we actually run like these incredible, pretty amazing yeah. sales and like Black Friday's coming up. I don't know when this is going to air, but maybe it already passed. <laughs> but <laughs> whenever the date is, um, the, like we do very aggressive, and a lot of that is because we're we're always you know we're obviously we want to give value, but it's because there's there's like a lot of other like. There's never a point where Young Nails gets to like we've got our the all the clients we need. We don't, you know. Please we're, do we're, not send us any more money. Yeah. <laughs> we don't. Yeah. Like there's never that point where it's just full. Well, the 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 sales discounts deals we do is to increase sales, right? To increase clientele, to increase the volume of income for right, that month. Right. Right. Us as nail techs or even hairdressers, if we're discounting, we're actually taking you're away. losing money. We're losing money. Because you're fully booked. Yeah. It's not like There's we're a, putting more people in for right. that special. There's a ceiling mm -hmm. to, to a certain degree because yep. you can take, let's say, let's I don't know the number, but let's say it's 100, 100 clients. You can take in 100 clients, but then it's maxed unless you like... Okay, I'm gonna open up like another location, but that's a whole nother model. Yeah, and that's if you own a salon. That's if, if you own a salon. If it's just yourself, you can't open a you whole can't. new self. No. Yeah. But you it's I like will, a fixed income. Yeah, but I will tell you, I did. There would be times that I would give things for free, but it was typically a picked the client, and it was because it was something new that I needed to try. Yeah. So that makes sense. That's a good trade off. So basically right? it's like disclaimer, these may fall off. Your fingers may just come off um, completely. Right. And you will no longer have fingers. But guess what? You're getting it for free. Yeah. Not the set, not the fill, just the the art, the art, whatever it is, the yeah. add on. So that but that was rare. That OK. Was rare. So um, are there any other situations that you could find where you're going to offer a promotion or some type of deal? Yeah. So I do want to say, because people are probably thinking I'm horrible that I never gave discounts to my clients <laughs> or anything. At the end of the year, I always got them something. Yeah. And I'd rather do it that way because I could space it out, totally. whether whatever I was getting them, I could space it out over a month or two and it wasn't such a hit to the income. Yeah. And again, I'm not trying to put a different number in their head by giving them a special. Right. Another thing that you can do if you're trying to build clientele is... Uh, similar, the notes we had, they said a loyalty program. Very similar. Oh, yeah. So basically you could go, hey, Habib, listen, you're a hairdresser. You have a very full clientele. Can I put a full set of nails, high glitter nails on you? This time, don't worry about it. It's 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 free. It's free. It, it will never be free again if you decide to keep them up. But, you know, that way if your clients see it and like you, just recommend them to me that works extremely well oh wow so that's if interesting. you have like, someone that has you know maybe they're in a grocery store or they're a bank or not yeah not right now with covid but right well you know, under normal circumstances yeah, but hairdressers especially works yeah. really really good with yeah. or you you know you can say hey so many referrals and you, you, get, you get a free set you get, you get something to you, for free you sh absolutely a pedicure pick a pedicure you know because you know, you've already probably put a full set on them and or whatever. Pick something that is kind of uh, giving them an extra, s spoiling them and maybe sucking them into a different thing that they don't typically get from you. Yeah, I, I'm i a huge uh, promoter of like, if somebody's going to 
you know, like spread the word mm-hmm. for your business, you need to hook them up. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, it's fair. like if it, especially in that environment, you know, especially in that environment of you're going to go to a hairdresser and you're asking them to let their clientele, like they're digging now, digging into their clientele, you got to hook them up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they're giving you free promotion. That is worth a lot of money. Yep. Like you got, you got to hook them up. I, I agree. And at, I think I, it really works well. Too. Yeah. Of course, they're they're exposing their beauty clientele to nail services while they're getting their hair done. I mean, look at these nails. Hairdressers see a ton of people. A ton. So if you're getting 40, 50 or more people a week, that's literally like every time the hairdresser's moving, they're seeing it. Nails. That's 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 big. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> so just to kind of sum it up, I would say the couple situa- the main situation is really if you are trying to grow and build your clientele offering some type of special some type of uh like girls day out girls night out type of thing where they come in those are great ways to expose your brand offer special deals special looks look of the month yeah. um and then even like Tracy said hooking up uh, hairdressers in your salon, other salons, or people that have a lot of visibility is a great way to like give them a free service. They expose it in the building process. But once you do bill to a full clientele, no, you, <laughs> simply put, you can stop. You know what I mean? And the assumption there is obviously um, you do have a fixed income at that point. You have this many clients. This is the money coming in. You depend on that money for you. Uh, as long as you're giving them really, really good service and support, there shouldn't be any reason to shouldn't give come. discounts, correct? I No, not at all. But I am curious. I, I'm sure other people have different ways they've done it. Yeah. It's worked for them. So yeah, I'm, abs- I'm really interested to see what they have to say. Yeah. And please do let us know in the comments below. What do you do? Um, what have been some of your strategies for promotions, deals to build your business? We'd love to hear about them. Thank you, Tracy, so okay. much. Thank you guys for joining us and we'll see you next time on the Biz Talk.